To battle the escalating insecurity, community policing will soon take off across the country, the National Economic Council NEC said on Thursday. The new security plan, which is expected to halt killings, kidnappings, banditry, and insurgency in many parts of the country, has got the 10 billion naira cash approved by President Muhammadu Buhari. Nasarawa State Governor Abdullah Hisuli announced the decisions at the end of next six meetings this year which was virtual except for the attendance of a few of the members at the council chamber of the presidential villa. Sule was one of those who attended the meeting at the villa. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo presided over the meeting. He said, the decision was taken after a report by the Ad Hoc Committee on Security and Policing, headed by Ikiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi, which was submitted to the council. The ad hoc panel, according to him, met on August the 4th to review the growing security challenges in the country. The governors also requested for more funding for states and the Office of the National Security Advisor to enable them to meet security obligations. Sule said the meeting received briefings from the NSA, Inspector General of Police, Chief of Defense Staff, and the Department of State Services. He said, Council resolved that the chair of the Nigerian Governors Forum with two other governors would meet with the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, the Finance Minister, and the Inspector General of Police to coordinate the proper utilization of the 13 billion naira funding of the community policing in the states. State governments have been overwhelmed by insecurity expenditures and there is the need by the federal government to inject more funds to augment expenses by the states among others. The meeting made several ob observations and came up with recommendations that would help government tackle insecurity in the country. Community policing is the middle of the road. Proposal by Inspector General of Police Muhammad Adam following the cry for state police as panacea to the security challenge. The attempt by the Southwest states to a regional police was also blocked, forcing the states to decentralize Operation Amoteco. The INEC also received reports, sorry, the NEC, I beg your pardon, National Economic Council, also received reports on the COVID-19 pandemic situation in the country. Flood disaster, risk management for 2020 and compensation payments on federal highway projects across the country. The meeting commended the efforts and commitment of the federal government in containing the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic and supporting state's response capacity through various interventions. The NCDC report indicates that positive cases have fallen from 19.7% in June to 13.7 this month. While number of states with testing laboratories increased from 2 to 32, including the FCT. According to the status report presented to the Council, the average tests per day has risen from 500 at the onset of the outbreak to 3,500 today. While the daily laboratory testing capacity increased to 10,000. Council also received recommendations from the ad hoc committee 
some of which include the states and FCT to look for ways of upscaling the communication at the grassroots level through non-compliance to non-pharmaceutical interventions. The need for states and the FCT to explore the suggested use of local networks and traditional institutions, institutions such as Association of Local Governments of Nigeria for reorientation of the people at the grassroots who had continuously lived in denial of the pandemic, thereby displaying nonchalant attitude towards the laid down protocols. States and FCT should engage the services of respected community influencers such as the heads of area boys, market women, and villagers in disseminating the same message to the grassroots using different modes through media that are common to such people and could easily attract their attention. Also at the meeting, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, gave detailed balances of the various national financial accounts. The excess crude account balance as at 18th of August 2020 has $72,408,119.44 stabilization fund, stabilization fund account has as at 18th of August has $44 billion, $207,377,000 billion, So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Buhari Oke's community policing had uh, approved some of the $10 billion Naira as takeoff funds. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Is this decision the right one? Uh, over time, people have been clamoring for state policing as the next solution to the challenges and problems that Nigerians are facing, as it were. And uh, probably the uh, president has you know, now been convinced, having uh, refused all this while, you know, to heed the call for police uh, for community policing. But however, it seems that he has now seen the need uh, since the challenges on the uh, security pol or the security challenges in the country has persisted and has gotten worse so probably he has now seen the need for the community policing and has decided to you know approve it so now community policing is going to be a reality in nigeria soon uh, as uh, the 10 billion naira has been approved uh, for its takeoff well guys is this not good news or do you think uh, this uh, would be utilized, you know, judiciously? And will there be results? Well, we hope and pray that, you know, the modalities would be uh, wonderful and there will be uh, results that would uh, uh, deal with the issues of the security challenges that the country is faced with. And um, we hope that, you know, uh, over time we'll be able to uh, assess this particular um, new uh, introduction and uh, get positive results well guys what are your thoughts kindly drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now